Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to this week's show. I am extremely, extremely, extremely excited because I am sat down with the Patricia Bright. Now, if you don't know who Patricia Bright is, she's one of the original OG YouTubers. She's been YouTubing for a very long time, been really inspirational to me. If you want to check her book out, this is an incredible book called Heart and Hustle. And the reason I've got Patricia on is because she did a video on her channel quite recently about property. And I just thought she's a massive influencer, incredibly inspiring female lady, investing in property. I have to get her on my show. So Patricia, thank you for coming down to the to the show. It's great to have you here. Thank you for having me. So <laughs> talk to me a little bit of background about what you do yeah. and about that video that you put out there about property that yeah. so many people watched. Talk to me about that. And I know it might look a bit weird for me being on this channel because obviously I do YouTube, yeah. I make videos on beauty and fashion and I've been a full-time YouTuber for like the last, say, seven years and, before, and I started doing this before it was even a career. It wasn't yeah. really a thing because I used to work, a full-time job and then I did this on the side. But I've always kind of been into one, being kind of smart with my money and then the idea of investing. I did that video just because at the, was, I think it was at the beginning of the year, yeah. we decided to pay off that house entirely to so put cash down. But actually it's a bit of a convoluted way. We sold that house to our company. So we have a holding company. And so I still own the property and we rent it out. But I thought it would be interesting and inspirational to maybe do a video on how I paid off my mortgage. Yeah. But I didn't go into lots of details and there was a lot of questions about it. And your name was brought up a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there was actually someone who did like a reaction video and was like, I don't think she paid off her mortgage. I think something or the other. I watched Samuel Leeds and he talks about this kind of stuff. So here we are and, and, here, and actually, I think that is how I found out about you. Or maybe I'd seen your videos before then. But yeah. yes, um, I'm into saving money, being good with money and then into property as well. So what was the general reaction then from that property video? Because you're, you're, I don't know, would you say you were, I know makeup, you're really known for, for makeup, yeah. but just lifestyle. Exactly. You know, and you've got how many how many subscribers on YouTube now? So I've got 2.8 million followers that on, is on YouTube. <laughs> and, and it's mainly women around the world who love beauty, who love fashion. Yeah. But I'm also a mum. And actually, when I first started my um, YouTube channel, I was working. So I used to work in investment banking and I worked in consulting. So I would do videos of me like getting ready to go to work and here's my work uniform and I'd have a backpack on. Yeah. So a lot of girls knew me for being the career girl. I talked about my jobs and that kind of thing. So there's a balance of girls who love just, you know, products, but girls who also are interested in, you know, improving their lives or yeah. being career driven. I've got a lot of career girls and you on are, my channel. You know, your your whole brand and start is people know that you're an inspiring, you're a businesswoman. You're not Trust just me. you yeah. are, you're a businesswoman. Yeah. And you're smart and you and you're good with money. So, you know, what was the reaction to that video generally? Was it very positive? It was very, very positive. There was an element of confusion and yeah. people also not entirely understanding how it's possible. And I, I used to see comments of people saying, well, that's because you're a YouTuber. Only you can do that. Yeah. And that was one of the things that would bug me because I, I would respond to comments and say, no, not only me does this. I, like, I come from an immigrant background, my mum's a hustler, and yeah. she's done it. So it's not just because I was a YouTuber, I was yeah. able to pay off a property, it's just because I, I, yeah, I made a lot of money doing Your mum's done really well though. Uh, yeah, yeah, she's kind of slowing down now, selling a lot of stuff and just trying to live her best but life I think and you cruise. Said, I think you said in your video, she, she came into the UK as an yes. immigrant, yeah. and now she has 10 houses in the UK. Yes, exactly. Which is, yeah. it just shows that you can start with nothing, but if you're prepared exactly. to hustle, yeah, yeah. you're prepared to work hard, yeah. and, and anything really is possible. Exactly, and if you're smart about moves that you make yes. then you're able to learn about how this stuff works yeah. and actually what i started quite early so my mum i think she went onto a property course or she met someone who was into it who told her to buy a house she had a council property and she bought it for seventeen thousand, and then sold it for two hundred and fifty thousand, and then used that money to buy other houses yeah. and so i was with her during that whole journey so i watched her when i was like 15 kind of go from zero to like oh to all of this yeah. so i very, knew it was very possible and then i used to manage her properties in manchester when i was at uni yeah. so she had four properties and i would be writing contracts and going to see tenants and all this kind of stuff so i was obviously having fun at uni but i was also doing this as well so i was very familiar with the process and yeah. knew that it was possible yeah for sure yeah. And 
you're not just, it wasn't just that one house. You've, you've gone on to buy more houses and now you're a property investor. <laughs> Patricia, yeah. the property yeah. investor. Yeah, kind of. I haven't shared much about that and I'm very new to, I wouldn't say new to doing it myself, but I don't, I don't know all the details of doing it. I'm sure you're like the expert. I've seen you doing this, like the houses of multiple occupancy and yeah. these other technical stuff that yeah. I'm like, I don't even know what this but means. But you said to me though, you said to me just before we started the internet yeah. off camera, uh, I might, maybe I'm doing it a bit wrong. But probably. The, but, the, but no, but the thing is, no, you're probably not doing it as maximum and getting as much profit yeah. as you could be. Yeah, for sure. But hey, if you're buying property, yeah. it's a pretty safe and, you, and you're smart and you, yeah. you know, you're not get doing it with all your feelings, but you know, you've done really well with what you've done so far. So yeah. I think respect Thank and you. it's great to see you doing it. And one of the, one of the reasons I wanted you on this channel, mm -hmm. and I said this to you, is because 90%, in fact, just over 90% of my audience on YouTube mm -hmm. are men. Right. And that kind of ticks me off a little bit. Okay. Because, and when I see your channel, I know you, you've got like over 90% of 98 women watching. 98%, women. 98%, yeah. that's insane. Yeah. Um, one, of, one of the men is actually me now. So <laughs> I, I am <laughs> subscribed. You. But I just thought, you know, I, I, want, I want to inspire, I inspire a lot of guys, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of young men as well, because I'm young myself. So a yeah. lot of young guys are getting into property. But I just want, I want women to see that it's possible too. And yes. I want women to be inspired. 100 And I want them agree. to step up mm -hmm. and... You mentioned that the pay difference between men and women, men used to get paid a lot more, mm -hmm. and now that's beginning to change. In fact, maybe yeah. even swing a little bit. Yeah. For me, that I think that's really inspiring and empowering mm -hmm. to women. So, um, I mean, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, I think that it's not even just that the pay difference is changing. I think it's that women are working more in yeah. higher earning jobs as well. So, you know, there was a time where women couldn't work and all this kind of stuff, or they only did maybe more lower paying jobs. But like, well, they couldn't even vote. Yeah, exactly. I mean, even, <laughs> we're not going back that far. The, exactly. Not even that far, but even the choices of jobs we pick yeah. are a bit more different, I think. So, you know, taking up engineering jobs and it, jobs in sciences and, you know, me working in finance as there weren't that many women. I was in the all male te team, mm. especially within technology. But more of us are taking those opportunities and not just the ones that are a bit more lower paying. Yeah. And personally, I think women are a bit smart <laughs> when it comes to money. Maybe. They just didn't have as much access to it, but now they do. Yeah. So it's uh, a great thing, especially if there's balance as well. And men, I mean... If you're in a relationship, when you have men who help out at home, it makes a huge difference. What you're doing now, you know, inspiring lots of people, but it's really strong personal brands. Mm -hmm. Do you think you're born like that? Or is this stuff that you thought, I want to do that? And then you had, to, you had to learn and you had to push yourself? Or is this just a natural? I think it's 50-50. I yeah. think it's born. So people have different personality types. I have a, my sister. We're raised in the same house. We're like polar opposites. Yeah. And she saw the exact same things that I saw and was raised the exact same way as I was raised, but we're very different. Yeah. But she also works in my company and she's she gets stuff done in her own way. But I think there's also like once you can educate yourself and learn, it's your choice to make act, take action and do mm. something about it. So for me, it was seeing my mum's journey always made me know that okay I can do whatever I want to do yeah. and it is definitely possible and then I really made sure that I drive really hard to yeah. get what I want yeah that's good. That's but that's fun. also a, like a personality type yeah okay so with this property then you put the video out okay you have right. loads of people asking <laughs> questions about yeah. it now presumably I might be wrong did part of you almost want to do another video, but then you didn't want to keep doing lots of property videos? Exactly. So now is your exactly. chance. Exactly. You're yeah. now, you're, you're yeah. Now is your chance to talk property. Yeah. Answer all those questions. Yeah. Give as much figures as you want. Yeah. And, 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 and um, you know, I'm well interested. And, so and I didn't everybody. want my accountant to tell me off as well. Like, <laughs> don't say that. Right. But no, so what, so what I've done. Yeah. So I had a lot of cash. So I didn't want to say I've got a lot of cash, but I had a lot of cash. I have no. a lot of cash. Yeah, you worked I'm, hard and you said Exactly. I'm cash rich. Yeah. So the choice was, what do I do with my cash? Mm -hmm. I might as well put it into something such as, um, and also try and reduce my tax. That was my main kind of goal. So um, my, um, I also wanted to move house. So what I knew is that we bought this house, £310,000. Um, and it, we know that the area had gone up in value. So we bought it, I think, in 2000 and was it 12, I think? And Where it, was that? When did you buy it? It's in Motspur Park, which is right next to Wimbledon. That was like the best year to yeah, buy. Yeah, it was way. a... Re yeah, we, 2008? 
probably absolutely crashed. Yeah, yeah. 2011, 2012, everyone it was, was just, scared to buy. It was just on the come up. Yeah. Right at the right time. And that's because we had a decent deposit. And this yeah. was before, like, me and my husband had extra cash. But yeah. we were just, he was a physiotherapist. I was working my job, but we still had enough money. You put down, like, what, like 15%? 15% yeah. deposit. So that was just as very normal 26-year-olds. Yeah. I don't know if every normal 26-year-old has that much money. But he had actually bought a house in Manchester, um... Two years of four for eighty thousand. No, yeah. he, I think he bought it for fifty thousand and sold it for ninety thousand. So that helped us put a little bit of money down for the deposit and stuff. And sure. then I was earning, so we had fifteen percent to put down on yeah. that house. It's not loads of money. Fifteen percent of three hundred three hundred thousand. No, it's like well, <laughs> yes, it is. Like fifty thousand. Fifty thousand right? is a lot to like everyday people. <laughs> okay. But yeah, fifty thousand is what we put down. Yeah. And that was at the age of twenty six, twenty seven. Yeah. And then we did up the house, we did a loft conversion, and then um, we had the house valued at about £610,000. And we wanted to move. And How much did you spend on the house? In total, probably about seven, sixty to 70000 Okay, so in, quite 70. So you buy a house for three ten. dollars yeah. spend seventy on it, that's, yeah. that's three eighty in total, yeah. and then have it valued down the line at six forty. dollars Yes. That's insane. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Insane. So it went up in value. And um, so the choice is you either sell it on the open market yeah. to get that money back, so that was personal money, or um, I could sell it to my company and take that money cash and keep that personally yeah. because we wanted to buy a new house. So we bought a more expensive house and we put the 300000 whatever we got in terms of appreciation. We use that as our deposit yeah. for our new house, which is a much bigger, much more expensive house. And so, but we still own that house sure. under our holding company. Got you. You, you, you get that, right? It's not Some people didn't understand that. It's, it's not... like, no, we just, the, the company had cash. Yeah. The company bought the house from us as individuals. Yeah. And then us as individuals took that I, cash I think maybe to you, put a deposit maybe down. Maybe if you, if you don't know anything about property or anything, yes. it's like, what? Yeah, it sounds yeah. like yeah. really weird or dodgy. Exactly. But actually in the property yeah. world, there's, there's nothing strange. It's normal. It's the holding company that we are the yeah. owners of um, own the property. So yeah. say me and you my just husband. just moved it from an individual so, which, which is going to be more tax efficient. Yes, exactly. Right. So us as individuals, we don't own that house, but our companies own that house. Sure, got you. And yeah. so we've gone on to then, the money that that company has, has then bought another two or three properties. Yeah. No, how many more? We've bought two more properties. And you're buying two at the moment? So, no, that... we've already bought them. They're already bought, they're currently, one well, has you, been done and already rented. You've got a couple more in the pipeline? Um, hopefully, maybe one more before the <laughs> end of the year. My okay. goal is to buy two a year. So yeah. I'm a cash buyer. Yeah. I don't know if that's a good thing. Well, I don't buy cash. Because <laughs> yeah, here's the thing. I know. Here's, I, the, here's the thing, right? Yeah. That £50,000 that you put down. I know. And when you were like, you know, I worked really hard for that, most people haven't got that. Yeah. If you'd have used someone else's 50000 Yeah. You'd have still made the same massive profits. Uh, agreed. So that's yes. the, that, that, that's the, and yeah. that's what I, what I do. Yeah. And even people, you know, people, really rich people, they're not debt free. Yeah, in I countries know. countries I know. Yeah. aren't debt free. So there's nothing wrong with, with, with buying it cash, and for some people, yeah. if, if they sleep better at night doing that, and they're in a position where they've got a business where they can, and yes. they don't want to be multi, multi, multi millionaires, there's nothing wrong with that, but if you want to grow really big, yeah, then you, do, you will need to leverage. Yeah. But you also need to have a place to put cash, so if I've got yeah. lots of cash, it's sitting in the bank with 0% interest, yeah. I'd rather put that cash in the property and get five or seven percent interest yeah. and if i want to pull the money out of the property at some point in time i can yeah. do that it's so yeah I, and that's the plan at some point in time if i really need to draw equity out of these properties yeah. i can i just don't have anything that i want to do with it just yet and i also don't want to have lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of properties yeah because it's too far too stressful yeah or, or from what, what i've seen do, is you could just go into bigger deals like commercial for instance right yeah where you have 20 year leases to companies mm -hmm. and, and and you don't have to deal with tenants so i don't know anything about that but <laughs> not yet a, a, the, the, the world is your oyster yeah you know yeah. but at least what you're doing is way better than putting in the bank where you're going to uh, get exactly. zero interest the money's shrinking because they're printing money all the time exactly you know it makes yeah. sense so i think you've done really well i think you've been really smart and, and i hope that you inspire lots of other people to be mm -hmm. influencers, branders, 
Talk to me about your course that you're, I don't know if you, if you currently have one or if you're about to. So I had one specifically that I launched this year. Yeah. Um, it was called The Break. And this was specifically about being a social media person. I've got to do this course. Person, I've got to do it. Right. Uh, thank you. Yeah, you should. I think everyone should definitely do it if yeah. they are interested in this space. And I did it based on the fact that I would speak to a lot of girls in the industry, specific, usually girls, who had no idea on how the business actually works. One, mm. how do you get deals? How do you manage your deals? How do you um, schedule stuff? How do you re reach out to clients? And what's a media pack? All these different things yeah. that I spent a long time learning how to basically do. So I put that into a course. Anyone who is thinking about becoming a social media-esque person, yeah. here's a blueprint on the things that you should do yeah. and then some tools and resources that they could use. That's awesome. And, and uh, from as a personal media, sorry, social media influencer, brander, like there's no one that's kind of doing it like you are in the UK. Like you are killing Thank it. Yes. And not only are you doing really well, but you've been doing it for a very long time. Exactly. That's why when I introduced you, I was like yeah. one of the OGs, <laughs> yeah. you know. And I think as well from an investment and a property point of view, like I do both. My personal brand is nowhere near like yours. Right, yeah. You know, and my following is nowhere near like yours. I've got uh, just over, I think, 112,000 um, subscribers on YouTube. I mean, that's still a lot of numbers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it is, it is. But, but the, the crazy thing is, I really believe that you should do both. And I right. think that if you can have a strong personal brand mm -hmm. and then invest well yes. and be a good business person, yeah. you are going to be able to help a lot of people. Have a, and, and ultimately, I think when you make a lot of money, mm -hmm. you're making a lot of money because you're helping a lot of people. Exactly, yeah. So there's nothing to feel bad about. Agreed, agreed. Do you agree, really? I agree with it as long as it's in balance. Like, right. it's a case of if you can help people without them having to give you something. Mm. So yeah. um, my thing is I want to provide advice and all this stuff without me having to get anything. Yeah. If they want to give me something, if they want to pay for But that's services, how YouTube works. That's how it works, exactly. Because you give the stuff more for, you give. But the thing is, and, and, and I don't know if you know Gary Vaynerchuk. Yeah. And, the, the, you cannot grow a successful business without first giving lots of value. value. Yeah. So, the, and the more value you give, yeah. the more people are going to be like, well, if I've had that much for free, yeah. like you've already changed my life, then it's so easy to then have it monetized off exactly. the back of that as well and help people yeah. even more. So, um, so from I think that as a property investor, mm -hmm. like if you're wanting to do deals with people, for me, it's really easy to do deals because most estate agents and people know who I am and I've got a good right. reputation, they know who I am. So it's really easy for me and people mm -hmm. say, You've got an unfair advantage. I haven't got an unfair advantage. I've made a deliberate effort mm -hmm. to put myself out there on social media. For sure. To every time I buy a house, document it, vlog the journey, publish right. the figures. Yeah. So then people can see, okay, I know what this person's doing. Yeah. But then when I want to join venture with people, when I want to raise finance, mm -hmm. when I want to um, package and sell deals, or whatever yeah. it might be, I have the best accountants, solicitors, brokers coming, wanting to do business with me. Right, okay. Just because it's like, well, can I go on your channel? Or, I, I trust you because I've watched seven hours of your content. Yeah. So I want to do business with you. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I'm trying to encourage my guys to do is put themselves out there more. Yes. Build a personal brand. Yeah. And there's no better person to ask the top three pieces of advice on this than you. <laughs> yes. So three top things for my guys, property investors. Yeah. What should they be doing to build their personal brand and get themselves so out here, there? I'm going to say one thing. I don't think everyone is made for the camera. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Some people, their personal brand might be the things that they write about. Okay. It might be um, their what they do on audio. It might be something that they create and their yeah. product is known more than they're known. True. So I've seen this happen a lot in our space that there are people that they're not known, but their product has such a strong rep. So yeah. there's a brand called like Summer Fridays. This is like a, a moisturizer brand. And it was created by an influencer. She's not that big, but her brand is massive. And yeah. we tr really trust her brand brand yeah um, but and some of us you know you know low-key know who she is but not the majority of people yeah so you know personal branding doesn't have to just be sit in front of a camera yeah it can be just create something really valuable yeah. for a wider audience or promote a business or promote a business a product or a service yeah. and then i'd say i always say consistency is is king people thought oh you know you just made it no i've been doing this for 10 years yeah. so i didn't just come out of nowhere i've just i've been here doing yeah. what i do regularly through do you know when a video is going to go viral do you think this one's going to be viral 
uh, I know how to make a viral video. I just don't always want to do it because it really? actually, no, yeah, you don't need to always be viral. So last year I had a really viral year. So I went from 1 million to 1.5 million in yeah. one year. And I, I did a, a bunch of videos that were constantly viral. So, how do you make a video go viral? Well, you can't make it go viral, but. What's the magic potion? What's the trick? Honesty, something dramatic happening and um, something that it, uh, is on trend. So mm. when I had my viral season, there was a brand that people who were quite famous were wearing. Yeah. And I did a really honest, transparent, like, not diss, but like, is this what Kylie Jenner talks about all the time video? And then I created a series. And then, so every one of those videos were doing 5 million views. And then everybody else on the platform started doing those videos. But I accidentally stumbled on that viral 5 million view video. Yeah. It was like, I didn't plan for it to be viral. Sure. It just went viral. And then when it did, I did 10 other videos that were of the exact same formula. So those did 5 million, 6 million, 7 million, yeah. 2 million. And that's what helped me grow. That's so cool. Because it was like, if I've seen something that's done really well, create a series. Yeah. So figure out, number one, do you want to be on camera? Yes. What, or do you want to write? Or do you want to uh, document a business or yeah. whatever it might be? Yeah. And then put out consistent, good content, yeah. add value, yeah. and try and jump on the back of trends. Yes. That's but good But not advice. in a cringy way. Not no. in a trend hunting way. Because yeah, sure. the thing that I think makes the most is the way that someone that really has a personal brand is authenticity. Mm. Like, don't be fake. Don't try and be someone else. Um, don't try and just be on a wave because it's the yeah. wave to be on. Like, it, that actually is less... It doesn't work as well yeah. versus so, you just we, being you. Yeah, like, my videos, I don't even... I, I've never tried to follow trends. It's not something that yeah. I've done. I think the reason I get... I've got 112,000 subscribers is because I just, I just document everything I'm doing. Yeah. And I just put out a video every single day. Wow, and that have, is consistent. I have six full-time videographers. Oh my God. So it's like really, really hardcore. Okay, so I would recommend people read this book. Yes. Um, for sure. How do we figure out if, we, if, if, if some of my guys want to maybe go on your online course or what would you suggest they do? How do they follow you out? What can I put you in know, the description? I'm the worst salesperson ever. I don't even know what I've got going on. I mean, my book can be found on Amazon. Heart and, and it's also, It's also in... Um, uh, where is it? Where, where, you, where is this book? It's you, in. You never plug this though on your videos. No, you I'm not. To. I'm not a sell. I'm not a salesperson. But, but you're you're robbing people of the experience. But we've got great sales. There's a lot of people I'm who sure buy you have. every single day. Someone asks, um, shows me this book that they're yeah. reading it on holiday, that they're in an airport, sure. that they're on a plane. That's great. Like some people are always sharing this with me, That's and great. you know, I did. Um, I did promote it when it first came out. It's in Waterstones. It's sold in America. Yeah. So it's an official book. You know, it's published by HarperCollins. So if people want it, they can find it in I think the store. It's quite, people, people get it because you put out so much good stuff for free. You almost don't, yeah. need, you almost don't need to sell. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, is I know who my audience is. Yeah. So right now, my audience is mainly girls who want to know about new fashion products and new clothing products. Mm. And then once in a while, they want to hear about other stuff. So if I was to start going on about my book or going on about property, yeah. that's not the audience that I've got. Yes. But there are going to be people within that audience who want to know about this stuff yeah. because I know that, you know, if I've done that video about property... When are you going to launch your new channel? Views. It was nine months you mentioned it. Was it? Nine months you were like, I'm going to do a new channel. And we're still waiting, man. Oh my gosh. What's that going is, on? That is pressure. We're desperate. <laughs> that you know that. I'm um, hoping that as it, a result of meeting me today, we launch this channel. So we've already done the podcast and it, you've got a six person camera team. It's just me and like two other people. <laughs> we've got Amina as well. But, you know, it's just trying to make everything work. I've just launched a new product collaboration. I've had a clothing collaboration this year with Amazon. Crazy. Busy. I have got, what else? I've got so much going on that just... Yeah trying to balance that. It's going to be lots of free content. Yeah. Um, it just making time for it is difficult, but it's launching mid-November. Mid-November, yes. I thought. Yeah, we've, we've already shot the content. So it's going to be before, before baby. Yes, yeah. Before baby, which Hopefully is really Hopefully I'll be introducing a baby on that channel or well, something. That's, that's, but we've already shot it. So, that's super yeah. cool. It's been really cool getting to know you a little bit. Amazing. And thank you so much. Get the book, find Patricia, follow her online, and uh, hope to see you again real soon. Thank you. Awesome. Amazing. <laughs>